Hello, wonderful people, Anton here. And today, we're diving into something truly fascinating right here on our own planet. A dynamic, invisible shield that protects us all, known as the magnetosphere. This incredible field, generated deep within the Earth by the swirling molten iron and nickel in our outer core, acts as our planet's guardian, deflecting the constant barrage of solar wind and dangerous cosmic radiation. Now, you might not realize it, but this shield isn't perfectly uniform. It has its stronger and weaker spots. And recently, using incredibly precise satellite data, researchers have confirmed something quite remarkable about one of the most significant weak points, the South Atlantic Anomaly. This anomaly, located over South America and the Atlantic Ocean, isn't just growing, it's undergoing complex changes that suggest something profound is happening within our planet, something we're still working to fully understand. To grasp the significance of these new discoveries, let's briefly touch upon how our magnetic shield is generated. It's a process called the geodynamo, where the movement of molten iron in the Earth's core creates electrical currents. In an ideal scenario, our magnetic field would perfectly align with the Earth's axis, like a simple bar magnet. However, in reality, it's far more intricate. The magnetic axis is tilted, and its center is offset from the Earth's geographic center by hundreds of kilometers. It's this very complexity that gives rise to anomalies like the South Atlantic Anomaly, or SAW. In this specific region, the magnetic field is significantly weaker, sometimes up to half as strong as elsewhere. While we on the surface don't feel this directly, it has a profound impact on anything in space. The SAW creates a sort of hole in our shield, allowing the inner Van Allen radiation belt to dip much lower, to an altitude of about 200 kilometers. This means satellites and astronauts passing through this area are exposed to much higher levels of ionizing radiation. This can cause data loss, system malfunctions, and even damage to sensitive equipment. We've seen this affect numerous satellites, including the famous Hubble Space Telescope, which has to shut down its instruments when traversing the SAW. A particularly striking example was the 2016 failure of Japan's Hitomi X-ray Observatory, which was attributed to the intense radiation in this region. So, what's causing this peculiar weakness? Beyond the general tilt and offset of the magnetic axis, scientists believe it's linked to fluctuations deep within the Earth's core and its boundary with the mantle. One theory suggests localized areas of reversed magnetic polarity are growing effectively canceling out the outward flowing field. These are known as reverse flux patches. Another potential contributor is a massive, dense chunk of rock located deep beneath Africa, known as the African Large Low Shear Velocity Province. This dense mass may be disturbing the core's flow, interfering with the geodynamo and leading to the observed weakening. Thanks to the European Space Agency's swarm mission, launched in 2013, we now have incredibly detailed data from a trio of satellites, Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie. These satellites have provided high-quality global magnetic field measurements, allowing us to track the evolution of the magnetosphere between 2014 and 2025. The most striking finding from this data is the continued, dramatic expansion of the South Atlantic anomaly. In just 11 years, the region with the weakest field strength has expanded by nearly 10% of the Earth's surface area. That's roughly half the size of continental Europe. On top of this, the minimum intensity within the anomaly has continued to fall. Even more fascinating is the change in the anomaly's shape. It appears to be developing a secondary minimum, stretching towards Africa, possibly indicating that the saw might be splitting into two distinct cells. These changes suggest dynamic processes occurring deep within the planet, though the exact reasons remain a subject of ongoing research. The swarm data also reveal significant changes in the northern polar region, specifically concerning the two main areas of strong field intensity, one over Canada and another over Siberia. Since 2014, the strong field region over Canada has diminished considerably, shrinking by about 65%. However, the corresponding strong field region over Siberia has grown significantly. 
This unequal change suggests a direct link between the decline in Canada and the growth in Siberia, and it's contributing to the movement of the northern magnetic pole towards Siberia. Understanding these shifts is crucial for navigation, especially in the Arctic, as they directly impact magnetic declination. To gain a longer-term perspective, scientists also study historical anomalies through archaeomagnetism, analyzing magnetic particles trapped in ancient artifacts like clay vases and tablets. This allows them to reconstruct snapshots of the Earth's magnetic field from different historical periods. We know that significant magnetic field events have occurred in the past, such as the Levantine Iron Age anomaly about 3,000 years ago, which saw an unprecedented spike in magnetic field strength over the Middle East. Studying these historical anomalies helps us understand the natural cycles of our planet's magnetic field, and may even shed light on when and how a complete magnetic pole reversal might occur, though there are no signs of this happening anytime soon. Overall, the findings from the last decade are incredibly important, not just for Earth sciences, but also because of our increasing reliance on space technology. They offer valuable insights into the dynamics within our planet, suggesting that these anomalies stem from large-scale movements of molten iron in the core, sometimes interacting with specific geological features. While we have made tremendous progress, there are limitations. Our current observations cover a relatively short period, just a few decades, when we're discussing phenomena that can take thousands of years to evolve. This is why the continuation of high-quality missions, like SWARM, is absolutely crucial. Extending the mission of satellites like SWARM Bravo is vital to ensure we continue to gather high-quality geomagnetic observations, especially as we anticipate launching thousands of new satellites in the coming years. This data is essential to protect our vital infrastructure and prevent billions of dollars in potential losses. From a scientific curiosity standpoint, we still have much to uncover. We know it's connected to the churning of iron within the core, but the precise mechanisms behind the formation and evolution of these anomalies remain a profound mystery. We'll be sure to revisit this topic as new discoveries emerge, or if the anomaly takes on an entirely new form. Thank you for joining me on this exploration. If you found this fascinating, please consider subscribing for more insights into our incredible world. Come back tomorrow to learn something new. You can also support this channel through Patreon for ad-free videos and direct interaction, or by joining our channel membership for early access and bonus content. And don't forget to check out the Wonderful Person t-shirt in the description below. Stay wonderful, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.